Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. Since last time, I spent some time over in the uh, Tuning Fork area, grinding up a couple of levels. I went from level 13 up to level 15, and it really didn't take long at all. It took like two to three minutes. It was nothing to do it. And it's highly recommended. Oh, uh-oh, that must be Udo. Yeah. Well, of course he's here. Um, we're here to rescue you? Where are you? Oh, yeah, I'm walking around in circles. That's smart. Oh, no kidding. And yeah, that monster's around here somewhere. But, um, first, before we go and find him, let's go exploring. First things first, let's head over here to the, uh, right, and then use Rock Crash on this little, I don't know, weakened wall or whatever it is. Bam! Yeah, McBain is so amazing. And for doing so, we have to use our spare key. Remember we got the spare key uh, by going through that, I don't know, the, the city wall or whatever. And uh, yeah, we get the economy ring, which is actually a really, really nice accessory. Oh, uh, we're still looking for you. Oh yeah, just wait there. Come on now. Okay. So the economy ring, lowers the MP cost of spells by 25%. It's really nice. Uh, especially if you want to use it on someone like Jan, who's, he doesn't have that much MP. Like, look at Una's MP, she has plenty. But Jan only has 54 MP, and his medium healing spell, which you really do need to start using at this point in the game, costs 8 MP. So, yeah, I would definitely, um, go ahead and probably use it on him since I really do use him as kind of the main healer. But, eh, that's neither here nor there. That wolf's glove sucks. Don't worry about it. What you can buy from the store is better for McBain. Oh, poor kid. Yeah, no kidding. You really shouldn't have. Oh. Yeah, that is true. And you're also like five. What are you going to do? And looking at your sprite, you don't have any hands. Like, what happened to your hands? Look at you. Like, say stubs or something. This poor boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, come on now. Oh, what is it, Jan? Yikes. Jan, the best hero, is actually on the lookout for all these monsters. Yeah, leave it to Jan. Oh, he's amazing. Jan and his six cents. Going around kicking ass, taking names. Yeah, if it was up to the uh, humans in our party, we, we would have just let let these monsters be. But no, not Jan. For me, boss time! Actually, for regular battle time against these Armadillions, which we've seen before, the Mist Eyes, which we've seen before, and the Mad Eye. Now, the Mad Eye is Wind Elemental, and it can confuse you just like the Mist Eye, so yeah, you do want to get rid of it. But I have a secret weapon for that. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have you guys go after the Mist Eye because these armadillons are annoying with their high physical defense. So, uh, Una, once she reached level 15, her spells upgraded. So, we got the, um, an all-targeting ice spell, Ice Rain, a, uh, better healing, Life Heal 2, and an all-targeting Earth Elemental Attack, Grandal, which is what I want to use, considering that, um, what is it? Actually, let me try Roar, see if I can't, uh, Oh, yeah, they're out of range. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, considering that the Mad Eye is Wind Elemental, I do want to use those Earth Elemental attacks. So let's go ahead and try this thing out. Bam! Yeah, so, so, so good! Una is now a house. She can afford to... Yeah, there we go with that confusion, like I said. She can afford to pretty much use that every single battle if you really want to and everything like once you get up to level 15 she becomes so handy and uh i like equipping the dotted ribbons on her for the extra magic attack power rather than the economy rings for the um lower to mp cost especially because your pet really should be giving you leash bottles all the time but my pet sucks and he doesn't yeah <laughs> yeah we saved the day oh no problem there really wasn't a big guy in there. There was just a group of little small fries. Oh. Oh, 
Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Glad to be of service. Well, you've already given us a residence stone. What else could you do for us? Oh, yeah, a meal would be nice, actually. Yeah, thanks. Really? It's just a meal? I mean, this guy's a noble. I'm sure he has maids and stuff who can make him meals. I'm sure he has plenty of money for it. Oh. Nick Bane always wants to make money, but we have literally zero money problems. Oh, well, yeah, we've kind of already been invited to that multiple times now. Wait, you weren't invited to the party? Huh, that's weird. I thought that everybody of importance was invited to this party. I wonder why he wasn't invited. Hmm. Oh, that is true. We do need to see this Duke. He really is responsible for what's going on there. Yeah. Well, we've heard that Rish isn't exactly a great person. We heard that way back in, like, the prologue somebody told us that. It's been quite some time. Oh. Really, McBain? Seriously? All we've been doing this entire game is meddling in the governing of all these countries. Oh, that is true. Maybe Rish has one of those resident stones, too. Yeah, more than likely. Probably. Oh, well, what is it? Well, what are you doing? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. You've somehow maybe help the people of your country? I mean, I know that you didn't actually defeat the guy, but you've tried. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Yeah, no prop. No kidding, it is kind of the least that you could do. We don't even get a meal! Wait, I thought you just gave us a letter. I guess we have, like, a letter to get into the mansion, and then a separate letter to give to the Duke? So, uh, let's just... Actually, do you have anything else to say? Get over there. Urgh. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh. Okay. Well, let's get on out of here. Oh. Hey there. Glad to see that, uh, you made it out of there safely. Of course we did. It really wasn't all that hard. Hee-haw? <laughs> good. All's well that ends well, I guess. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get on out of here and meet you back at the, um, at the cave path that we, uh, well, in the middle of the cave path where we rescued the boy, so I'll see you there. I've made my way here, so first things for first, before we get out of this cave path, just head over to the right, there's a secret passage! And what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, Leash Bottle L. That could be the first time that we've gotten one of those. Maybe. I don't know, I'm not paying that much attention to the items that I get, considering I never really have to use the items that I get, but they're there, I guess. I went ahead and I equipped the economy ring on Jan, and here we have some new enemies, if I could ever catch the guy- Get over here! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I like them running away from me, but come on now. Okay, let's see, these guys are water elemental, uh, so yeah, we'll use a grandal on them, and everybody else can just attack. From the Octi, you can steal an Amethyst from them, um, if you really care about them, but I, again, have no money problems whatsoever, so I feel like that is completely unnecessary to steal from them. From the Blue Jellies, you can't steal anything. Oh, and actually, from that Mad-Eye that we fought back in the cave, the little boss, and I use quotes whenever I say that, you can't steal anything from it, so don't worry about it. I gotta say, that Jolly Key Ring really does increase Forte's critical hit rate. I kind of wish that I bought- Whoa! Oh man, That's, that, that scared me going towards that monster, I really didn't want to fight it. Um, I kind of wish that I bought another one of those back from that accessory seller back in that town that we were in. I don't remember the name of the town, but we were in it. Hey, hey, 
and over here we get a Mirage Mail, which is also not in the strategy guide, so yeah. Um, that increases your avoid stat by 10, which is essentially your evasion, so yikes. That could be really, really nice, uh, but it does lower your defense from the current armor that we have. So on the second screen, what you want to do is head straight up, and hey, what do we got right here? Get over there. Ooh, a call bell, which I'll never use. The call bell works opposite of the noise bell. The noise bell makes the enemies go away. The call bell um, makes enemies come towards you. But yeah, I pretty much grinded the instances, so I don't need to do that. Then we had that secret passage that I just went through, um, which also was not in the guide, so yeah. Um, check that chest twice, and we get some... I don't even remember what I got. I don't... Oh, 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 oh! I got some really crappy item, um, for, for McBain, which I will never use because it sucks compared to what he already has. And, um, yeah, check it again, and you get that Orb of Ocean, so there you go. Uh, hey, we've made it to Environ. Nice! Oh, yeah, it is rather large, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Really? Huh. If it's so huge, I would imagine that you would just see the cap, the uh, the castle from the entrance. But yeah, I guess this place has changed a lot in ten years. Well, where are you guys going? Hey there, get over here! Like <laughs> ran away from me. Your friend in Polka. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Muth is where, where we will be going to soon. Oh, hey, hey, awesome. Yeah, but for talking to her, we get Fred book number five. Nice. Don't ask why, just take the book. What's wrong with you? Hey there. Oh, really? The bakery's closed here? Yeah, this is where uh, Altos needed to go. A fat man and a lady who are performers? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Oh. Well, maybe they'll play soon. But before I forget, um, definitely dis-equipped Altos with everything. Especially if you have the noise bell on him, dis-equip it from him, because whenever he leaves your party, it will be lost forever. And you really, really, really don't want that to happen. Hey there. Well, no problem. Yeah, you doing okay? Your store looks open to me. Like you're behind the counter. You have on your little baker's hat and there's bread on the shelves. Oh. What was the other reason that you couldn't run it? Oh. Um, I thought that you were his uncle. Are you his uncle? Therefore... You wouldn't be a friend of Altos' father since apprenticeship days. You would be his, like, brother! Or are you his friend? I don't get this. Like, ugh. What's up with these Japanese games, like, giving people these titles of aunts and uncle when they're not really related to them? It makes no sense to me. Yeah, he's doing fine. Oh. Of course he does. He was just talking about him. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. So, let's see. Before we go to the castle, um, I do want to go up here as well. You don't have to do these little things that I'm doing right now in the order that I'm doing them in, but, like, you might as well do them. I just feel like it's the most efficient route of getting these things done. Hey there. Yeah. Um, that's what I just said. That's us. What's wrong with Jan? Really? The desert rat is a mascot? I would imagine that a dog would need a visa the same way a rat would need a visa, because they're animals. Ugh. Yeah. Well, Rick is pretty useless. I wish that, like, Jan got, like, a special skill or something by having Rick. There's a, we a weapon shop that has 
nothing of interest in it. And then I believe that over here is an item shop. Yeah, that also has nothing of interest in it as well. So don't bother going there. Hey there. Um, we're here to see the Duke. Yeah. Is he in? Oh. Uh, yeah, we're trying to at least. Come on now. Oh, well, what's wrong? Oh, your princess is in another castle. Oh, okay. Well, great. Um, he just said to come back later. He's not in, so yeah, come back later, Una. Come on now. And who are you? It's Rachel and Shao. I thought it was going to be them. You guys going to play a song or something? Uh, yeah. Some free entertainment. Never turn that down. Yeah, and they're kind of the reason why we're going on this journey in the first place, because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't know about the water melody, and we wouldn't know about the resident stones, or the magic map, or anything else. So we really have this entire journey, like we have Shao to thank for it. Oh, well we never charge for our performances. Oh, okay. Oh, really, what store? Um, what does that have to do with anything? Um, okay. <laughs> what a bitch! She's like, look at this fat ass over there. You must eat everything. Oh, and he's a drunk. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. She was actually talking about Xiao. I didn't realize that. I thought she was pointing at somebody in the audience. <laughs> um, I don't know. What are you guys talking about? Oh, bread. Yeah. They're sponsored by the bakery. Of course they are. Seriously. What do you mean, which bakery? There's only one bakery in this whole town. Of course it is. I guess they're gonna play their little song now. song sucked. <laughs> that was just awful. Yeah, I don't think that anybody else really liked their concert either. That was terrible. Man. Oh, well at least they're nice about it. Hey there, guys. What's going on? Yeah, that was pretty miserable performance. Oh, and then Rick says hi in his own little way. Jumping around. Yeah. The one that you didn't want to give cookies to. Oh, that's, uh, Altos. Man, she flirts with everyone. Uh, yeah. He's better than Forte, I guess. Of course it is. Otherwise, why would they put on that god-awful concert? Yeah, that wasn't so great. Oh, really? You liked it, McBain? Seriously? Oh, yeah. Oh. So they know that they put on a really bad performance. But what's going on with that? Yeah, he should be better. Oh, well, you're not going to get to enter the audition playing like that. 
home. Well, can you blame them? Like, you guys suck. Really, not everything's about money. But I guess it is for him. Um, kind of, always? Oh. Really? More mental training. Um, okay. Yeah, that is true. We were nominated quite easily. <laughs> Wait, what? We didn't go behind your backs. You guys left us. Maybe if you guys stuck with us and didn't abandon your frickin' part-time jobs, then you could've gotten a nomination, too. Ugh, that's your own fault. Yeah, well, we gotta go. We're kind of busy. We're going away from you, you losers. Really? <laughs> Are we still running away from them? Oh, okay, great. Well, I guess we, uh, lost them. Yeah, you're not the smartest, Una. Okay. Yeah, awesome. So, but is the Duke back? Find out next time on Let's Play Legend Heroes Song of the Ocean. Yeah, that's the best cliffhanger I can come up with. Anyway, if you guys like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.